So we have a very diverse group of students here at Lee and we represent a number of different countries and languages. So we wanted one common text that we can all read together and relate to. Every student, staff, and teacher received a copy of March Book One by John Lewis and we are asking teachers to think about connections to the book and to incorporate those connections into their curriculum throughout the school year. Okay, we're going to continue reading the book March by John Lewis. Okay, señores, buenos días. Hoy vamos a seguir leyendo el libro March del señor John Lewis. We picked the book March because we felt that the themes within it are universal, nonviolence, and being part of a community and standing up for what you believe in. John Lewis is just an important person that we want our students to know about. Reading March, it was surprising. Like, when we've learned the civil rights movement almost every year, and they would talk, tell us stories about people and stuff, but I never really read anything from the viewpoint of someone who actually experienced it full on. What John Lewis did suffered to help white people and black people come together as one unity to have equal rights, go to the same school, have, go to the same bathrooms, go to public restaurants. Reading it from someone's point of view that's actually been there, I actually now want to read more about people who've actually went through that period and like what they thought and like how they survived it. By reading March, you can see from someone's point of view and take into perspective how different things affect different people, although it might not affect you all that much. The educational goal, if you will, is literacy and developing a love for reading across all the students that are in our building. But for me, the broader goal, as I think about who, what kind of students do I want to leave this building year after year, it's about social justice. It's about equality. It's about helping kids understand that we help people up, not tear people down. A book can inspire a whole school community. You have context to work with together as a group. The book has inspired me for reasons why I take personal and racism as being wrong. Reading the book March um, inspired me very much to be kinder in my actions with everyone. It actually has inspired me not to like go and protest, but like to actually learn more about the history of the civil rights movement. It inspired me to be equal with everybody instead of treating everybody like differently. Reading the book March has inspired me because if it wasn't for John Lewis, Martin Luther King Jr., and Malcolm X, I wouldn't be here now and I really thank them. It inspired me like to look at everyone not by who like like where they come from or like what grade they're in, how old they are just by like who they are and like if if I'm getting along with them, I'm getting along with them. We can learn from John Lewis about citizenship. We can learn about how to engage in as a civil servant. We can learn about nonviolence, about equality, about fighting for equality. Like, even though it's been like a really long time since like the civil rights movement happened, there are still some like after effects going on. People still haven't completely like opened up to the idea of equality. Like they are equal, but just some people's own opinions, they kind of get in the way of treating people equally. The one powerful thing that if kids could walk away with, I would want them to walk away with a sense of, if you believe in something deeply enough, you can figure out a way to advocate for that and that something could be something for yourself, or it could be something for the greater good. But at the end of the day, it's about the advocacy. It's about identifying what's important to you and then really putting a plan together and going after that. John Lewis, in my opinion, is a living American hero who's 10 miles down the road from our kids. For them to read about someone who's alive and still very, very much in the political spotlight, he is a congressman, he speaks out. So for them to connect with someone who is here and hear his story from him as a child growing up on a farm in Alabama to now his life as a pretty high profile congressman, that's something that they can connect with and he hopefully can reach out to our students in some way and show them that anything is possible if you just kind of fight for what you believe in. It doesn't matter whether we're black or white, 
Latino, Asian American, or Native American. We are one people, we are one family, we all live in the same house, American house.